Hi, my name is Justin. I'm an 80s kid from the 90s. What's good, everyone? I'm back with another Star Wars action figure review. This time we got Star Wars The Black Series, The Book of Boba Fett, Mandalorian, Glavis Ring World. So, we got the side of the box with some pretty awesome artwork. You got Mando with his dark saber. That looks awesome. And then you got a bigger image of that artwork as well as a description that says after entrusting Luke Skywalker with Grogu's care, the Mandalorian known to few as Din Djarin sets off to learn more about the origins of his people. And as you can see, it's number eight in the uh, Book of Boba Fett Star Wars action figure Black Series line. And then you got the other side of the box. So let's say it with the box. Onto the figure! All right, so here we have the brand new Black Series Mandalorian outside of the packaging. This figure is awesome. I love this figure. But before we talk about the figure, let's go over the accessories he comes with. He comes with his jetpack, which is painted in a nice metallic Silver color, that looks awesome. He also comes with a standard blaster pistol that is painted in a gunmetal gray color. And as you can see, the handle is in a nice brown color. And there is some detail on the grip right there. If I can get it to focus, yeah. There you go. That looks awesome. He also comes with a vibro knife, which looks pretty cool. The blade is painted in a metallic silver. And the handle is painted in a gunmetal gray color. And his final accessory is, of course, the dark saber, which looks awesome. The hilt for it is in a standard black color. But as you can see, there is some nice detail on it, which looks great. And then you got the Darksaber blade. Um, the outside of the blade is, of course, you know, white color, which looks awesome. The inner part of the blade is in a standard black. There is no detail, but it is very shiny in reflection, which is pretty cool. Just a heads up. When you remove the dark saber, you want to be very careful because of this particular peg. So that's just a heads up. But yeah, you can take the hilt and then you can come over here and you simply just hook the hilt onto the back of his belt. As you can see here, the vibro knife goes on the side of his boot. And over here is where you put away his blaster pistol in the holster right here. So, that is where all of it, his accessories go. And you put his jetpack on his back. And that simply plugs in. And I love how the cape just flows with the jetpack. That looks awesome. So. Yeah, this guy comes with a great amount of accessories. Let's talk about this figure, guys. This figure is awesome. He's got a metallic silver on his Beskar armor, 
which looks awesome. And then on his knee pad, you got a nice metallic blue that's so awesome. And then you can see all the other details on this figure. It, it's just absolutely amazing. Hasbro knocked this figure out of the park. They did a great job. Finally, a soft goods cape. And this is also the only Beskar Mando I own, so I'm glad I waited this long to get the best version. It's just a great figure. Uh, definitely one of the best figures in the line. So let's go over his articulation real quick. For articulation, Mando does have a ball joint at the head here as well as a barbell joint at the neck, which is great. His shoulders are on a butterfly joint. They do go up a bit and down a bit, but they are hindered by his shoulder pad. Um, they also do go out pretty far, which is good. Um, Single joint at the elbow here. There's also a swivel at the elbow, which is great. Swivel at the wrist. Wrist hinges up and down, which is great. Ball joint in the abdomen area, which is great. His legs do go up and down and out this much. Same thing for the other one. This one goes out further because of his blaster holster so you also got a you also got a single joint at the knee and that goes pretty far swivel at the knee there is some ankle rockers which is great his feet do go up and down so he's got plenty of awesome articulation size comparison time so here we have him standing next to the very first release of The Mandalorian. Um, this is still a great figure, but man, this one looks awesome. Here he is standing next to Ahsoka from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. As well as the Ahsoka show. Here he is standing next to Cobb Vance, which came in the Book of Boba Fett 2 pack with Cad Bane. This figure looks awesome. Next to Mando. Here he is standing next to another Mandalorian, Sabine Wren from the show Ahsoka. And this is a team up I would love to see in the Filoni movie. So. These two figures look great together. Here he is standing next to Stormtrooper George. And here he is standing next to Indiana Jones. So overall, this Mandalorian figure is a 10 out of 10. I think it's a must have. You definitely need to get it in your Star Wars action figure collection. Or if you're a fan of the Mandalorian, it's a great figure. Definitely worth the $26 in tax. Um, I got nothing else to say about this figure other than it's a wizard figure. Great job, Hasbro, for making this awesome figure. Um, so that's all I have to say. Um, make sure you do leave a like, share this video, leave a comment below, and subscribe today if you're new. Um... Also, please subscribe to my friends in the description. Until next time, may the force be with you. This is the way.